To master CAD modeling, you have to understand what continuity means. And in this video, I will give you a brief overview what's G0, G1, G2, G3, how it's working and how it's used in surface modeling. And the following lesson is just one module out of my new free surface modeling introduction course for beginners. And this course covers all the basics and fundamentals ensuring you excel in surface modeling. Starting with explaining NURBS and CAD, you will dive into the key principles of continuity and tangency. Through hands-on exercises, you will master surface modeling techniques by modeling objects like a shampoo bottle and cylinder connections. Additionally, you will get mindset training to tackle complex projects and solve common problems like smoothing surfaces and working with lofts. And as a grand final, there's a special section on how to model a product design from scratch with all the learnings. So enroll in this free course today and start your journey in surface modeling with plasticity. So check out the first link in the description box next to the video and now let's Let's dive in into this tutorial. Okay, so let's have a look at what is G0, G1, G2 and G3. And again, download this project file below this video so you can follow along. Guys, that, and you have to know that G0, G1, G2, G3, you just have to understand this. For surface modeling, you will always need it in literally every project. And there's a lot of uh, things to say, and it's very, can go also very theoretical and very mathematical and all that kind of stuff. But I don't want to cover that because, especially in the beginning, just to get started, it's in my opinion, not that necessary. It's much more important to to apply this first and by the application, by doing, learning it. And once you are getting then more advanced and uh, more advanced and you want to dive deeper in that, then you can go into like the hardcore theory and mathematics and all that kind of stuff. But especially as a beginner, so this is my learning approach and what I see my students get the best results is just application. So also again, in the next modules, we will go through a lot of practices, exercises, and some actual product design tutorials, but still you have to understand. So if you're super completely new to surface modeling, just a very few, uh, very key principles. So in surface modeling, we are mostly working either with surfaces, or with curves. So again, of course, this is just something very, very simple, right? Just to explain that. And of course, when we will model then later a little bit more complex objects, then we still have surfaces and curves, but they are just a little bit more complex, right? But to connect, so in surface modeling, we have to connect surfaces and curves most of the time and we do that so if so close those other files and open this one and here with if you press 2 an object mode and if you select both edges and if you press l for loft so loft is mostly connecting then you see already it's instantly g1 and what does uh, g1 mean it's better if I start to explain it with G0. So just click here on G0 and just click here on the front view. Now you see, so from the front view here, we have those uh, fill, um, surfaces and now we are connecting with this loft. So this is the surface which was produced by loft. But you see, we have here a very sharp angle. So here and and here, right? So G0 just means we are just connecting. So it's just searching and connecting in the most direct way. So here from this point, just to this point, just create one surface, one connection. So those surfaces are connected, but there is no smoothness. There is no curvature. There's kind of no fillet if you want, right? 
So if we delete in object mode this surface and do this again, and if we edge, uh, select those edges and loft them again, and if we leave it at SG1 and if we press OK, you see, so if I here disable the edges, now you see we have a little bit of curvature. So here we have the surface, but it's not instantly going into that direction. So here's kind of somewhere the edge, but it just takes a little bit. So here would be the edge, right? So this is our surface, which is straight. And then we start to take a little bit of the information of this surface here and start to curve them in. But we have here, you see, it's, yeah, it's kind of a much better connection, right? So exactly the same, um, for the, for the, for the bottom one as well. And you see our curve is also not straight anymore, but we have this kind of an S curve. So this is G1. Then there's also G2 and G3, and we will cover that uh, a little bit. So in the uh, next module, um, if you press G2, you see that this connection to our straight surface is kind of just getting even more smooth. So here in the beginning, so you see this is here our flat surface, but you see it's pretty flat here in the beginning, right? So we just get a very nice smooth transition. So the thing is that if you select this edge, for example, and you rotate it, so you press R and you just rotate it, I don't know, even in that direction. And again, if you press two and you select this edge and this edge, and if we press let's say loft and G zero again, again, you see it's, we don't have any smooth curvature. We don't have any smoothness. It's just a very hard edge here to the top and the bottom. And it just tries to connect in a mathematical way, those edges in the most yeah efficient, uh, shortest way possible. I, I don't know how to explain it exactly. But if you press now G1, bam, you see again, we get this a little bit of curvature and it's just smoother and here as well. And so we can uh, change the shape of our curves first, but much more importantly, why there is a distinction between G1, G2 and G3, we will cover here in, in the next module continuity. So I will not talk about that right now, but what you have to understand is, yeah, G0, G1, G2 is just saying how smooth you connect faces, uh, surfaces, or it's exactly the same with curves. So you have also have um, curves here. So here are, there are straight curves. They can be also be like curved curves. <laughs> But again, if you select those points in points mode, you can again um, loft them, just press L or use the bridge vertex command, but you can just use L loft. And it's exactly the same here as well. And again, let's start with G0. So again, it's just um, a straight line. So let me hide those surfaces here. But here it's very interesting. If you go to G1, you see now we have some points here and you see we have one point. So again, without going too deep into that, but this curve here, so this is what we lofted, right? So this section here, this is a, so this curve here is a base, uh, Bezier curve it's called. So again, it's not so hyper important right now. But because we have this point here and you see, we have our curve here and this point is exactly straight to this, um, to this straight curve. 
So kind of our curve first goes into that direction. So what happens here and then it starts to curve. So the same at the bottom. So here we have this curve, right? And here we have this extra point. And again, you see they are completely uh, straight. So you can imagine that this curve here at this point, it doesn't go straight to, um, to this other curve, but it first goes a little bit towards this point here. So we can illustrate that even better if we um, just press escape and if we use here a Bezier uh, curve. So it's here is control point curve. So just go to this spline curve, drag and to control point curve. And here you see we can drag that out and it's saying tangent, right? And you see now if I just create a random point, you see we are smoothly first connecting to this curve. So if we delete this curve and do this again, but at the bottom, you see if we uh, snap at this point, you see we can snap here at the tangent. So we can even snap somewhere here. So you see it's always straight to our first curve. And then even if we go like very hard cause somewhere here, the second point, you see because of this point, because this point is tangent to this curve here, we have a smooth connection here. So let's just connect them again, spline um, here, this control point curve and go to this point, drag out tangent. And now we have to find the tangent point again. So we can't just guess or add somewhere here to do that. We can go to this point and just press shift. And then you see, we get all of those purple construction lines. And you see now we can snap here to this one and this one is tangent. So we can snap once here and here right click. And you see, we are getting kind of our G1 loft. But again, if it's a little bit confusing for you, if it's a little bit too much information, don't worry. It's absolutely okay. It's, I just wanted to show it to you. It's, but it's not hyper super critical important because throughout the next modules and courses and the exercises and practices we will implement all that and it will make much more sense so just let's um, do uh, one more thing so press one and again love those points and now it's g2 here and as i uh, as you remember with the surfaces, I told you G2 and the higher you go with a num number, the smoother the surface uh, will get. So what smoothness exactly mean? I will show you exactly again in the continuity uh, module. But here you see now we have two points. So we have one point here, which is tangent to this point and a second one. So this curve goes one step kind of to this point and kind of another point. So this happens somewhere here in the beginning, right? And then it starts to curve. So the same here, we have this curve and this point is tangent and this point. So our curve just stretches a little bit more into those purple control points before it starts to curve. So our curve will be even more connected to our curves or faces, right? So again, guys, I know for most of you, they don't even watch because this is so simple and basic. But if you are still watching, there is, of course, a lot of things to learn. There's much, much more. This is super basic stuff. But in our practices and in tutorials and just by applying and using that, it will just make much more sense. But yeah, something very important I wanted to talk about. And in the next module, we will check out what is tangency. So as you saw already, when we started to connect, uh, so as you remember, remember here, if you take a control point curve, this one, and if you drag it out, it says tangent. And tangency is again, a very, very, very key principle in surface modeling. It's yeah the most important thing to get smooth surfaces. So you also have to know what means tangent, tangency, the mathematical term. So let's check out in the next module.
And if you found that lesson helpful and you want to learn more about surface modeling, check out my free course with over 40 modules explaining everything about surface modeling that you need as a beginner. So sign up today with the first link in the description box next to the video. And I hope I can see you in there. Have a nice day. Bye.